here, aka Phil the Sport, back for another uh, rant about. And this time around, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, you know the fact that uh, Trump may be the third sitting president to be impeached. You know, the House voted today, uh, you know, or had voted, excuse me, on uh, two articles of impeachment. Um, this whole thing is like this complicated, you know, deal of like 30,000, you know, like it's going to be like 50 some odd people or something like that involved or whatever the case may be. When you break it down as far as I'm concerned, it comes down to this. Regardless of whether the Ukrainian president somehow felt pressure, you know, to kind of, you know, you know, to investigate the Bidens or not, the simple fact of the matter is, is that Trump invited it. Trump invited it. He asked, he made the request. And the fact is, is that this is a foreign power who he is requesting interview, you know, investigate, not interview, sorry, investigate a possible political rival. A possible political rival who will be running against him for president. And he is openly requesting that they go ahead and investigate them. I'm sorry, but whatever good intentions you got, um, it's kind of null and void when the person you're trying to investigate and you're asking a foreign power to do it. Um, I'm sorry. You know, it, I think it just makes the legitimacy null, null and void. You're asking, you know, again, foreign power. And the best part is, is that <laughs> the last time the election came along, even though from the reports and all that, we can't necessarily say that Trump is directly responsible for it. But the best part is, is that last time he was running an election, another foreign power, in, you know, interfered. And now he's making a direct request. A direct request. It doesn't matter if, if the, you know, President Zelensky, or whatever the case may be, you know, didn't feel the pressure. The fact that Trump requested it is a problem. He's asking, he's inviting a foreign power to investigate and interfere with an election and get dirt on one of his political rivals. A foreign power. It's not even like he's hiring private detectives or some shit, you know, or you know, or something like that. He's asking a foreign power to do that. There's something wrong with that. Seriously. Republicans, you know, kind of like, you know, like, you know, supporting the president, you know, because he's part of the, you know, the GOP, he's kind of the one that's kind of running the show to a degree, you know, you know, he has a lot of support and all that, you know, and I get their constituents, you know, are, um, you know, and I get that they have a lot of constituents, you know, who support that, you know, support him, and so to a degree, it's kind of like, you know, you, you know, if you want to keep your career, if you want to stay elected, you you thereby, you know, support the president. So in that way, you know, your constituents, when it comes time for re-election or another case may be, will stick with you. But the problem I have is, is that the extent which they do it, and also the fact that they back up all these, in some cases, harebrained bullshit fucking conspiracy theories and all that. I mean, they treat him as though he's like a scumbag Jersey version, spray tan Jersey version of the fonts. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, the difference is, is that, you know, when it's, as opposed to the fonts, you know, like hitting a jukebox and having music come out, music come out, you know, Trump goes in, Trump goes into a restaurant or a bar or a diner, punches the Mexican, you know, and, you know, and which somehow thereby cues, you know, music and everyone in there is like, Hey, you know, yeah, you know, all that, I mean, the dude, I mean, I just don't understand. They act like he's, like, the coolest thing around. And it doesn't matter, you know, kind of, like, the threat that he may have, you know, uh, you know, that he may, you know, the national security threat that he may be bringing upon our country, you know, by inviting a foreign power. You know, this is some sad shit right here. No, that's, you know, we just got to think about that. So, before I go, just remember, you know, the... When you're sipping your morning cup of coffee and you're waiting for that white flash followed by that mushroom cloud, just remember that we did this. Until next time, Lou Ford.